Hi, this is Charlotte from Unleashed Education. You've tuned in to another Editing Toolbox video where we focus on one little tip, trick or technique to help you improve your pet photography editing. In this video, I'm going to be showing you a really quick and easy technique for doing a head swap. If you're photographing two or more dogs, it can be tricky to get good expressions of both of them in each shot. Just like in these photos of Truman and Chester here. In this image here, we've got a really good expression from this dog and not so great expression from this dog, looking a little bit off to the side, the ears aren't really up. This image here though, the framing's a little bit off, not a great expression from this dog, looking a little bit off to the side, but a much better expression here. So what we wanna do is grab this head and put it in this shot to make one perfect shot of the both of them. So I've opened both of these images up in Photoshop. They've been edited in Lightroom to improve the color and the contrast and the white balance. So that's all done already. Photoshop has a really great feature that makes head swaps like this super easy. And I'm gonna show you what it is. So we need to grab the move tool. We're gonna to go to this other image here where we've got the nice head of Chester. And we're going to click with the move tool anywhere on the image, drag up to the tab for the other image keep the mouse button held down, drag down on top of this image and then let go. So that then creates an additional layer in this file, which is this image that we grabbed. So basically this one we don't need anymore, we can close it. So this is where Photoshop's brilliance comes in. We now need to select both of these layers. So the layer one and background layer, you can press shift click to select multiple layers. Then we need to go up to edit, auto align layers. We'll just keep it on auto, we'll just click okay. And now if I turn that top layer off and on again, you'll see that it's lined up these two layers quite nicely. It's important to remember that the top layer will be the layer that is moved to match the bottom layer. Sometimes this includes skewing the layer a little bit or rotating it. So always make sure that the image that you're gonna keep the most of is on the bottom. So now that we have these layers lined up nicely, it's a good idea to do a check. So what I like to do is change the opacity to 50%. If you've got the move tool selected, you can quickly and easily do this by pressing five on the keyboard changes the opacity. Now you can see both layers. So what it's done is actually lined the background up perfectly, but Chester has actually moved a little bit. We just need to make sure that his shoulders are fairly well aligned because basically we're just gonna take his whole head from that top layer and put it on the bottom layer. I think that's lined up quite nicely. I think we can work with this. So let's take that opacity back to 100%. We're gonna add a mask to this top layer. So in this instant, I'm gonna hide everything while adding the mask, which means I need to add a black mask. So I'm gonna hold down option and click on the new mask icon in the layers palette here. That adds the black mask. Now that's hidden, that whole top layer. Now we need to reveal Chester's head. So let's grab a brush. We need to make sure it's a white brush. So over here in the swatches, we need to make sure white is the foreground color here, which it is. If it's not, you can just press X to swap them. Then we make sure this mask is selected and then just paint with a white brush into that mask to reveal that part of the layer. Now the shoulders were lined up quite well, so this should all work quite nicely. So if you wanna see where the mask is actually applying to, you can press backslash on the keyboard and that then shows you where the mask is black, which is red, and where the mask is white, which is where you can see the layer that it's masking. So that's all looking pretty good. To check this, I'm going to turn this layer on and off. Now it has moved his head a little bit, which kind of makes sense because before he was sort of looking off to the side Whereas in this one, he's more engaged with the camera and he's sitting up a little bit straighter and his ears are up more. So I don't really think we need to move this layer at all. What I will do is probably just go in here and double check that I'm not getting any mismatches of alignment here. So I might need to switch back to the black brush. So X on the keyboard to swap the foreground and background colors. On the other side here is a bit of ghosting going on, so I'm gonna switch back to a white brush, so X on the keyboard again. 
and just show this layer. And we can always refer back to the mask to see exactly what is and isn't being masked. So I think that's actually blending quite nicely. I've gone down a little bit more into the image because I think that probably makes a bit more sense visually. Okay, this all looks pretty good to me. So it's more of a head and shoulders swap than a head swap, this one, because generally when a dog's sitting there, they're going to move their body and their shoulders a lot less than they'll move their head. Uh, so you might need to go down into that kind of area. So there we go. A beautiful head swap. All we need to do now is recrop the image. It added extra image around the edge to allow for this other layer that we brought in. But if we want to crop that back, just press C on the keyboard, make sure the ratio is the original ratio, which is two is to three. And just quickly recrop that. And then last step, you want to flatten it and that's the head swap done and the image is ready to finish off. I hope you've enjoyed this editing toolbox video and I'll catch you for the next one soon.